Yo, welcome everybody. Today's video is about crossovers. I am gonna share my five favorite tips on how to be better at crossovers. Uh, for those of you that don't already know this, crossover is the fastest skating technique for when you're doing turns. Uh, you will see that if you look up any race of any professional inline skater or ice skater, you will see that they use this technique where you cross one leg over the other when you're turning. This is uh, very energy efficient and you're also capable of providing more speed as there's no real point during this movement where you're not actually producing speed because there will always be one leg pushing straight to the side. However, this is a tricky thing because it's really not a natural movement to the body and that's why I made this video for all of you guys to optimize your crossover technique. The steps are pretty simple. It's not actually drills, it's just some things that I want you to think about the next time you go out there on your inlines and when you've done this a million times, you will be a lot faster when you're skating turns. So I'm just gonna explain everything to you step by step. We're gonna start out with the most simple thing to change, which is the shoulder positioning. So in order to get the most out of our skates, we would want our shoulders to be parallel to the ground. Otherwise, we're just gonna tilt and we won't have the momentum to really push into the ground. We're just gonna fall into the turn. So whenever you skate in the turn, make sure that your shoulders are parallel to the ground, which here seems pretty simple because I mean, I'm just standing here, but as soon as you get that lean going, you don't want it all to tilt in because you're gonna lose the hip and you're gonna lose all that pressure. So whenever you skate in the turn, make sure they're parallel to the ground. The next step is to make sure that you are not losing the hips behind your body. In other words, you would always want this to be tucked in under so you can engage your glutes. But also, especially in the turns, if you lose this behind, you will very easily also lose the leg behind. And if you do so, you won't really finish your crossovers because it's going to fall out here. And it seems pretty logical that we can only push to the side when we're going in a turn. So if this pops up, you're going to lose the leg behind. And what we really want to do is push straight to the side. This also brings us to the next point that we want the feet to be aligned. Obviously, to generate power and speed, we want to push straight to the side, not behind and not open up. So we want the hips to be tucked in. The fourth super important and crucial step in order to do a good crossover is to finish every push. By that, I mean both the right and left leg. So when you're skating, don't just sit on it like that. Make sure to extend the legs. There's no reason to not get everything out of all the power you got. So whenever you push off, fully extend every leg. But still, remember what we said in the previous points, don't lose it behind, so it doesn't matter if you straighten your legs, if you do it back here. So keep it all aligned, all facing forward, and fully extend. My fifth and final tip for a good crossover and faster turns and inline skates is that you should be facing the exit of the turn. For this, uh, the reason for this is that whenever you do that, you're sure of either you won't lose your hip and you also won't lose the upper body, because again, what I've been trying to explain in every single point here is that we want perfectly power output straight to the side. So we maximize the speed for how much power we put in. And if you're facing the exit of the turn, it'll be a lot easier to just continuously push straight to the side because, I mean, if this is pointing at the exit of the turn, this is obviously pointing to the side. So keep that in mind that you should look towards the end of the turn. This can be difficult when you're racing because you need to be aware of where your opponents are, but when you're at home practicing, there's no reason to not do this. And then once you've done it a million times, it'll be up here and you won't even have to think of it. I hope you found this video to be useful. I hope it was fun watching and I hope it gave you some ideas on what to fix and what to improve on when you're out skating. If you liked it, you can always hit the like button and if you want to see more of my content you can check out my channel or you can just click on that subscribe thing is down here up there i don't know it's fun having you guys and stay tuned because there will be a lot more in the meantime if you want a cool training program or you want some ideas on how to get stronger or a full season weightlifting program you can check the description below because there is a link where you can sign up and get an entire season of weightlifting uh training plans that i designed specifically for skaters 
because I really think that to be a good skater, you need to train and lift like a skater. So this video is about the technique. If you want the power that you need to put in, well, check that link and uh, enjoy.